Okay, in this video what we're going to be doing is continuing making our uh, our kinetics program with our uh, version 30. So uh, what this is doing is, is just actually running Studio 5000. Uh, our controller will be a L73 and we will be running version 30. Um, this will be running a kinetics uh, a kinetics 6000 drive and this Again, we'll be showing uh, the, the use of Sherikos and everything that it needs to be. So what I've done is I've went ahead and added um, the Sherikos module, which again is just basically, you know, adding a new module. Um, and then I've added that in. And then through the Sherikos, I've added a new uh, controller, which in turn was my... Um, my motion card or my motion uh, controller which is the Kinetic 6000 uh, the current model that we, I have and everything so um, at this point what we need to do is go into motion groups and add a motion group so we'll call this uh, motion group so real quick we'll just put the motion group in um, in our motion group we can come in here and add a, uh, a servo drive so uh, servo drive we'll call this axis 01 just uh, again real simple cut and dry nothing fancy um, we'll open this up and we'll look at our module so our module we have to have associated modules again that's down here that's what we what I've added down here that's the kinetics through the circos um, I'm going to pick that Okay, so it automatically puts in my node that I'm using. I'll just click OK. Um, then I need to, to uh, select a motor. First and foremost, I'm not using, no matter what motor I'm, I'm working on, um, I'm not using the uh, drive enable checking, so uh, input checking, so I'll, I won't check that. So if you're, you're not using that, uncheck that box. Uh, so now we'll go down and, and select our motor. In this case, we are using an MPL. Um, and we're using the MPL, I uh, believe it is the V, uh, VO2. Okay, so now we'll apply that. And that puts all of our data into our conversions and, and all of our everything we're doing. Um, and we're not really going to set up too much. We just want to verify a couple of uh, good settings, you know, as far as going into your date and time um, I've already checked the uh, enable time synchronization that's very important in a servo system that you you do that unless it's being uh, synchronized by some other attribute uh, then that's something that you need to look at um, we do have uh, a Ethernet card and I'll show you too I'll do that by auto generation I'll show you like auto detection First and foremost, what we'll do, um, and we're not, we're not, we didn't add any code in here yet, but what we'll do is we'll go ahead and, um, and download this. So this is uh, to the processor that I, I just flashed on my previous video. So at that point, I'll just download uh, this code to it. Um, it says the offline version uh, firmware update. Uh, why? You can select that. I'm not sure why it would ask that because it, it is in the correct firmware. So, yep, that's why. It's because my Cerakos card is not at that firmware, uh, which makes perfect sense. Um, then at that point, you can just update your Cerakos card. So, being that we're this is a part of the progression that we're doing, uh, I want to go ahead and update my Cerakos card at that point. So that's why I'm doing it through here. You, you know, I could have did a firmware flash for the Circus card. Uh, similar to this, um, this would do, do the same exact thing. So uh, with that same thing, that same instance being said, this is exactly the same thing as doing a firmware flash, um, you know, as far as using control flash. So it automatically detects, it automatically knows and it will go through its motions and, and reset everything. So now it's going through its power. And uh, as soon as the Cerakos card matches the processor, then everything should be good to go. 
Um, and that's one thing that's really critical that your Circos card is in line with your um, processor, meaning your firmware to firmware is right uh, or else it will happen and you're not allowed to download or it won't work correctly. Okay, so um, now that this is in, um, the Circos card has to, uh, the Circos network has to go one, two, three, four. It did uh, everything. There's no faults on it. Uh, to prove this out, we can go in here to Motion Access Direct. Uh, actually, let's put the processor in uh, run mode. Okay, so now we're in remote run. Um, let's come in here and go to Motion Access Direct. We'll cut the servo on. Okay, so we cut the servo on. Uh, now we'll go to the jog and we'll actually do a slow jog of that servo. Okay, so that's actually a slow jog. Uh, we can make that a little bit more. And that way we can pull this up to let you see that that is actually running. So the, the, circ, the servo is actually running a velocity of 5 right now. And if I went to the motion axis direct commands, I can tell it to stop and you'd see the same exact thing. So it did stop. Um, in that case, um, I could do a MAM. I could tell it to go. So currently we are, um, let's actually home the servo. Let's home it. Okay, so now it's at 0. Now let's do an MAM to, let's say, 300. Um, let's see. Three hundred, and let's do a speed of fifty. Okay, so now it's going to run up and run to a position of three hundred, and then stop. Okay, so that's an absolute position. If we change that to incremental, we could do it again, and it will run to six hundred. And obviously, if I ran it. Um, to position if I did absolute that's actually to that position and no more um, if I do incremental it means it's going to just keep adding that uh, same amount on that position the this many counts so again you could see all this too on my servo uh, course I have servo motion mastery one our servo motion mastery which is the core values of servos and then advanced servo motion mastery and this both of those will be linked below if you'd like to see that um, but the purpose of this video uh, again is to set up a Cercos network on version 30 um, which is running uh, an L7 processor uh, so um, there has been a somewhat of a talk that uh, at least not from Rockwell but from others saying that you can't um, run a Cercos network on version 30 and you can so uh, just that obviously shows that um, I am running a Cercos network on version 30 um, and this is studio 5000 so uh, again um, our logic logic logics designer I'm sorry which is basically you know that is studio 5000 so as you can see I mean that shows exactly what what's going on um, so uh, we'll go ahead and close this video out um, and we'll pick up and, and do some more you know programming and stuff of that nature what I'll probably end up doing is taking my uh, servo from uh, servo uh, course uh, one of the uh, ACD files and converting it over and downloading it to this processor and actually running it via that and show you um, that you you know we can do a lot more with this but um, instead of you know going back through and reprogramming everything one by one, um, just wanted to kind of show that a, again this this is a version 30 run in Cercos, no problem. It is actually 100% capable. And uh, again, I'll take the on the next video. I'll take my code, convert it over, and then we'll actually run it. So again, um, thank you for your time. And if you would feel free, um, if you haven't subscribed or whatever, just you know, if you like what you're seeing, 
you'd like to see a lot more. Um, by the way, if you don't subscribe, just at least check out the other videos here. You know, I've made a lot of videos to help people out. Um, but you, you know, if you want to go ahead and subscribe if you if you like the channel. That way, it keeps you up to date on what I am doing and all the stuff that I have. But I do have over a hundred and I would say 150 servo vid or not servos, but 150 150 programming videos that would help you out with Rockwell software. So uh, feel free to subscribe. Um, I also have a Patreon, which is a members area that uh, you can get a lot out of. All the links will be down below. Um, so please check those out. And again, thank you for your time and uh, I hope everything's going well.